I don't know about you, but if you've ever watched a movie with someone who's seen it lots and lots of times, it might be one of those movies that you've not bothered about seeing and finally you sit down and watch it with a real fan. I remember that feeling when I watched the Alien trilogy. I'm not really an action fan, although I do love science fiction. I like things like Star Trek The Next Generation, of course, the Star Wars movies. In fact, one of my favourite science fiction movies is Silent Runnings with Bruce Stern and the robots, Huey, Dewey and Louie. It's fabulous and it's well worth seeing. Anyway, I digress. One evening I was sat with George watching the first Alien movie and all the way through it I heard the dialogue, not just coming from the movie but from George's mouth as well. As you can imagine it can be quite irritating but after a while I actually was quite impressed just how much dialogue from the movie that he really knew and it was all there waiting for this moment for me to watch the movie with him. Today's Bible reading from Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 7, has the Lord's Prayer as its focal point. And in the first verse, it says this, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many, many words. I often use this one line when we're having our intercessions and people cram everything into the intercessions. But not only that, and I'm sure you've heard this, when you can hear people's own agendas come through on our intercessions. And we have that line, which does seem a little bit harsh, doesn't it? But I think it's God's way of saying that we need to know about what God really wants to hear that we want to pray about in our lives. So he wants to hear words in prayer that we'll commit to or that we will do something about. And he's saying, I don't want empty words. I don't want things just to sound fantastic or sound long. It's about our real life joys and our worries. And we can pray when we talk in our relationship to one another. Prayer is, after all, a conversation with God and it's one of the best ways to hear what he wants for us in our lives. And I laugh when I say that because, as you can imagine, I just talk to God like I pray and I talk to anybody else. So he very rarely gets a word in edgeways. So we have to let him into that conversation. One way of praying, though, is this very Bible reading. We are given a great prayer, which I guess we probably pray every day or weekly at the least. It's ingrained in our memory and it's like we know the words of a favourite movie. We can simply just say the words. Of course, the danger with that is that the words become meaningless because we just say them. In fact, I know for sure that I have drifted off to sleep praying the first few lines of the Lord's Prayer and then gone into a dream world and it's not meant anything. One of the great things about knowing the Lord's Prayer, though, is that we have it with us all the days of our life. Like God, those words of encouragement are by our side. And it also does commit us to looking at the way we live our lives in mercy and especially in love. When I visit nursing homes, I'm often struck by those people who are living with things like dementia and Alzheimer's. And when it comes to the Lord's Prayer in our liturgy, there is an instant recognition. And often I hear the words being spoken as we pray together. And it's a beautiful, beautiful moment of God's blessing. Today, I think in this Tuesday reflection, it would be good to really pray through those words again. Not by rushing through the day and throwing the prayer in when we haven't got time but by recalling what those words mean and offering ourselves to God in love, prayer and service. So shall we bow our heads together and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and please know that God is with you every step of your way. Amen. <music>
privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we Yeah.